Hey guys, I did some creative engineering today. I have made a, this is my custom made bearing knocker on tool um, for the steering stem bearings. Um, this is a piece of 40 millimeter plastic PVC pipe. Nothing fancy, it's like what you use for plumbing with. Um, I had it kicking around and I had a, a really old metal clamp type thing I had kicking around like you can use practically anything there for that clamp um, as long as it's fairly sturdy so what I did was because the tube is 40 millimeters round in diameter it's actually a little bit too big so if you have looked in the sides what I did was I just grabbed a, um, in fact you can still see the marks on the ground because I haven't cleaned up yet. I, um, I grabbed a cutting disc and put a cutting disc on a, um, on a grinder and cut the grooves back. I made, before I did that I made sure the top was, was pretty straight first and um, put the cuts in so that actually makes things a bit smaller um, and I can use that to tap the bearing on down over the top of the stem. Um, and eventually get around to replacing the bearings. Um, you should better pick up these parts, like from a like a recycle shop or something at your garbage dump or something. Like this is just old bits of junk I had kicking around because I'm a bit of a bow bird and I don't throw things out. So I had these few bits and pieces kicking around. It's nothing fancy, but it'll do the job. Um, so yeah, um, when you get the bearings, you warm the bearings up a bit. Um, you could probably use a hair dryer or something to warm them up. And um, um, and then once they're warmed up, because they're going to expand, just make it a little bit easier. You can then put this tool on over the top, put your bearing down underneath, and then um, tap the other end um, with a block of wood or hammer or whatever. And, knock your bearings on and you're good to go. So hopefully that gives a few of you an idea or some inspiration to, um, to make your own tools. Cheers.